Continuing on the custom car review streak, we're going to be talking about a Easy A LR Super Janemba concept, of course, coming in from Sam. And I have like three or four more cards in order because I'm going in order. That's coming from Sam. So shout out to Sam for still sending custom cards around this January period where I was, I don't think I was paying attention to custom cards. Did I upload a custom card video? this year in january i don't think i did i don't think i did so uh with that being said send me custom cards to bhdev custom cards at gmail.com i promise you i'm gonna get to your card in the near future while i'm getting all these older custom cards out the way bro sam sent this at one in the morning <laughs> this is why i love you guys this dedication is bro unless you're in another time zone which i'm inside the the eastern standard time uh time zone for the u.s one in the morning this i i love you guys so shout out to you sam uh let's just go straight into it because there's no message in the email sam wants me to just get straight to it my bad okay so boiling evil super janemba his leader skill is corroded body and mind or movie bosses four key and one 70 percent across the board of course his leader skill will be bumped up and his 12 key he gains 30 percent attack and defense for one turn while doing colossal damage to an enemy and lowering their attack and defense and his 18 key super he's greatly stacking attack while doing mega colossal damage to an enemy and greatly lowering their attack and defense so i do like that this card is attack debuffing and both super attack effects while gaining a defensive buff on its 12 key while it's also greatly stacking attack on his 18 key i like to assume that there is additional super attack chance inside this this uh, card's kit i just it just makes sense you know because you're greatly stacking attack and you'd like to gain multiple amounts of uh defense from those 12 keys like you get like uh let's say you launch additional attack that has a i don't know 50 percent chance come a super attack after you're doing your first 18 key super then you'd get a additional attack and defensive buff for that turn for the 12 key i mean you guys get the gist <laughs> anyways so 150 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and plus additional 66 percent when performing a super attack uh sam i know you're watching this video of course <laughs> i don't know what you meant by the perform um well not perform excuse me plus initial 66 percent attack well not attack there's nothing there what am i talking about it just says plus initial 66 percent when performing a super attack i like to assume that you meant 66 percent attack and defense fumbling my words i'm sorry guys so I'm just going to assume that that's an attack and defensive buff when performing a super attack inside his passive. Just assuming. And he just guards all attacks unrestricted. And two key up to six. And 22% attack and defense up to 66% with each attack performed as the second or third attacker in the turn. So you want to put him inside those specific slots so he can build up that key attack and defense. And he also gets 66% damage reduction as the second to attack in the turn when HP is 66 percent or more so 66 percent damage reduction as he's second to attack in the turn when the hp is above that threshold interesting and he also gets a 66 percent chance to dodge when hp is below 66 percent as the second to attack in the turn really interesting okay and a 50 percent chance to nullify key blast super attacks directly at this character Okay, so when you're above the HP threshold, he has 66% damage reduction with his unrestricted guard. And when you're below the HP threshold, he has a 66% chance to dodge with his unrestricted guard. Okay, so he has all of the most important defensive uh, defensive mechanics to fall back on in his kit. Meanwhile, as... Of course, you're going to be putting him in the second slot because you want to keep on, on the rotation so he can build up that key attack and defense as your second or third attacker in the turn. I mean, more so the second slot, but you guys really, you guys get it. Uh, I, I like that he's pretty much going to be safe to build up that key attack and defense because above the HP threshold, 66% damage reduction with guard, which is obviously going to mean that after he supers and after he gets all the attacks off, he's not getting damaged at all, right? I'd like to assume. And of course, below the HP threshold, he has a dodge. 66% chance to dodge with guard. Um, it's not 70%, but hey, it's close to it, right? So he has every defensive mechanic to fall back on. He can build up all his uh, key attack and defense very easily. And he, I'm going to assume, of course, he has guard also, by the way. He also, uh, I'm going to assume he has 66% attack and defense performing a super attack, as well as him having key blast nullification chance. I mean, all the defensive abilities in his kit. 
Uh, easy build up because that's only three attacks that he has to do. Um, he's greatly stacking attacks, so he's gonna get he's gonna be hitting harder as he progresses on the turn. Um, that's <laughs> pretty much what we're looking like here. Uh, there's not really much more to say. So his active skill, the Rage Condition. Rages can be activated with HP 66% or more, starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle. Okay. Uh, once only, of course. And of course, he goes into uh, Super Janemba Enraged. So his new super attack effects, he greatly raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage to enemy with a temporary great chance to crit. So he's greatly raises attack temporarily while having a 70% chance to crit on his 12 key. And on his 18 key, he's massively raises his attack temporarily while doing destructive damage to the enemy, while also having a 70% chance to crit. So he has crit chance in both of his super attack effects for his little, uh, his post rage form. He also gets two keeper keys are obtained. He also has a 50% chance to launch an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come with super attack. So a chance to perform an attack that has a 50% chance to become a super attack. Now, I would say the only thing that this EZA is missing is additional super attack chance. Launching an additional attack that has a, I don't know, a 30%, a 50%, a 70% chance to become a super attack. That's the only thing that this EZA is missing. That is it. That's all. To help him build up his key attack and defense faster. Because this guy does not have a, any additional super attack chance. Or any additional attack that has a chance to become a super attack within his kit. That's the only thing he's missing. I like this easy A concept. I don't really feel like there's much of an issue at all. This card literally has every defensive ability to fall back on. Guard. And also damage reduction when you're above the HP threshold. And dodge chance when you're below the HP threshold. He has nullification chance on key blast supers. He builds up all of his attack and defense very easily. Considering the fact that it's only three attacks. Because it's with each attack perform is the second or third attacker in the form. Um, well, excuse me. Not the form. The turn. <laughs> Sometimes I jumble up my words. I'm sorry, guys. While also greatly stacking attack on his 18 key super. While debuffing attack on both his 12 and 18 key super attack. Base. That's really it. Um... This card is looking good to me. Uh, only, well, he'll also be fine on key. I was about to say, well, maybe he can start out with three key with his 150% attack and defense, but that's just me nitpicking, right? And, I mean, he builds up that key very easily. So, what's the point of him starting out with that key when he builds up the key very easily? So, that would just be very counterintuitive that I'd point that out. So, I think the only thing is that this card would be missing is additional super attack chance. Well, additional attack that has a chance to come super attack. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's all. I like the easy A. Um, considering where this Janemba is coming from, it's like all he has is 120% attack and defense to start a turn. Guard is the first or second attacker in the turn while building up two key up to six and 22% attack and defense up to 66% attack and defense each attack performed. I like that they got that correct back in, what's that, July of... Whoa, this card came out on my birthday. Okay. He made very minimal changes, but I gotta say I like the changes. I do. He, bro, his super attack effects are just so bad. Just, wow, lowering defense on both 12 and 18 key super attack effects. Uh, one more thing before I go ahead and close out the video. Janemba needs uh, an LR, just like fat Janemba. Yes, can we get like a fat Janemba that transforms into super Janemba? Um, but do you guys do you guys agree? I, uh, high key Janemba definitely. Janemba is in need of a new card. App so fucking lootly. Um, yes, absolutely. So I think that is about it. Is your no, we ain't gonna have that discussion. <laughs> um, send me custom cards to VHF custom cards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card in the near future where I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next in the video, and I love you all. Hey, we're getting there, okay? We're getting these custom cards out the way. Peace.